and gentlemen, welcome back to another early morning here on It's All Me. Today it is 5.18 a.m. and we're with Tiny Tuners and yes, we are back at the airport once again. Today, we are heading off to Denver, Colorado and the cool your thing about this... Your attention please. In the interest of passenger safety, please do not leave your baggage unattended at any time. If you see any suspicious activity, please report it immediately to the nearest airport or law enforcement personnel. This is our very first flight ever together, which is very exciting. And as I said in one of my videos highlighting my trip to New York to visit Seth, every time I'm talking, something loud happens. Almost every time. So anyways, we're getting ready to board. Let's go to the Rocky Mountains. So we have officially landed in Colorado and our flight, boy, that was something. Had the craziest turbulence that I know I've ever experienced. You too? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So we basically, going over Nebraska, we experienced flying through some storm clouds. Before they took us above them, it was so bumpy that <laughs> the coffee that I had literally shook out of my cup. Passenger next to me, spilled her entire drink all over her seat. It was nuts. So we're glad to be out of that plane now to continue this trip. We gotta pick up our car, figure out all of that. So get our bags and go from there. Yeah. It smells like Christmas in here. It does. It smells really good. <laughs> it's train time. Look, doors are oh, wow. That was fast. Yeah, that was fast. Here we go. the other people and we're underground. It's cool. This thing is cooking. Shoot. It's like man. It's got some speed. Shoot, son. And the lights. I love the lights. All right, kids, so we're out of the chaos of the airport, thank God. Um, we're out of the chaos of the rental car place, thank God. And now we are preparing for a five and a half hour road trip through the Rocky Mountains to our Airbnb. We have our rental, I'm not gonna show you what it is yet, but I'll show you Tiny. Yeah. As she is preparing all to get our, ready for our trip. All of our, all of our snacks. snacks here. And then this is what I'll show you for now. That is the glimpse that you get until we have better scenery because then I'm gonna showcase this bad boy once we get there. So kids, let's get this party started. Um, so it's day two. We uh, did a lot of traveling yesterday. I said that I was gonna showcase our rental when we got to a better location. Well, it was just a blur of a day, five and a half hours from the airport to our Airbnb. And I was running on less than two hours of sleep, one hour of that being the only restful sleep that I got in a 24 hour period. So by the time we got to the Airbnb, both Tiny and I were completely gassed out. We crashed, had a good night's sleep, the best sleep I think I've had all year, honestly. 
And so now we're getting ready to head up to our first location of the trip, Uray, Colorado, which is known as the Swiss Alps of the United States. So super, super stoked to be there. Um, as you can see, our arrival time is 1.11, it is 12.26. We are inside our Jeep. Still waiting to showcase that to you on the outside because it's so gorgeous. It's a hot day. It's gonna be a little cooler once we get in the mountains. But are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Let's go to the mountains, guys. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the mountains. Let's go. Okay, so now that we're in some really beautiful areas, I'm gonna get out and showcase our rental. Here's our our surroundings right now. It's my. We're about 20 miles away from Ure, which is where the Swiss Alps of America are. Here she is, ladies and gents. This is our Jeep Wrangler. Baby! And there's my Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> Here she is. We haven't figured out a name yet. We haven't found something. Uh, granted, we haven't done a whole lot of exploring. We've just done a bunch of long, long road driving. Um, so we haven't really found anything that has fit or felt natural. But it's just, it's just gorgeous right here. I mean, we have natural trash, which is great. And Tiny just found a bone. Oh, it, it legit is a bone. It kind of freaked me out a little. It's like a femur bone. Ew. Or a leg bone, the way it connects right there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see that. But like, and it's all head? cracked up. Dang, that thing got smoked. It's old, for sure. Yeah, and it's been laying there for a long time, true, yeah. Well, now it's time to take some pictures and then head right into Ure, baby. We are officially within the city limits of Ure, so let's take a gander, eh? Eh? Ure? Ure? <laughs> Holy mother, look at the view. I can almost guarantee that it's not going to fully translate on camera. Oh, okay, I'm wrong. It looks great on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a GoPro. Wow, it takes, I mean, there's just so much to see that it's hard not to like just be engulfed by the beauty of this place just by a GoPro alone, even through a dirty windshield. Passed by a couple hot springs, which is really cool because we were hoping to be able to find some natural hot springs that maybe we could go take a dip in. Dip. 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 Gas uh, is $5.13 here. $5.13 a gallon here, kids. Wow. Talk about throw up in your mouth. Hot springs in. I wonder if they have a hot springs pool. Super high and super close. Yeah, very close. We have it's like it's not golden hour, but the way the sh the sun is positioned right now is literally blowing up all of the colors with just really high saturation, and it's making everything glow. And it's just unreal. Hot springs. Oh, look, that's a huge hot springs pool right there, Teeny. To your right. Ooh. Oh, you're right. Yep. That is Oh, it just opened up more. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Gracious. Wow. Kids, I've been watching videos on Uray for the last probably close to five months, if not longer than that. No, actually, I think it was been, I've been watching since last year. And to be here, like, holy cow. And I was here as a kid. But I don't remember it like this. It's been 22 years since I've been here. Man, oh man. Now here, it's it's like the Wild West. It really is. We got this little town still here. We got a bunch of shops and such. Man, really pretty buildings. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. 
they are beautiful. Thai chili. Yum. Okay, so one thing that Ure is known for is it's a gateway to the, the million dollar highway. And this is literally where that starts. And I've been on it, it's terrifying. We're potentially going to go on it, see how we progress. Again, we've been to the top of a mountain with the Trail Ridge Road and Rocky Mountain National Park, but we'll see. But I just, the, the view, like, this is probably some of the greatest scenery I've ever had in my in front of my face. This up here is just unreal. So the million dollar highway is that way and it literally weaves through there. Wow. And the crazy thing about mountains like this is they seem so close, but like that peak up there is so far away. Goodness, look at this. It is just complete insanity. I feel like if there was a plane flying at their normal elevation, we'd be able to like see the full body and look at the people in the oh, windows. Because yeah. of how high we are. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, 36,000 feet is a lot higher than where we're at. Like, I think we're at like 7,800. Oh, there's a waterfall. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that's so beautiful. I that wish I could awesome. zoom up on it. I think I can see it. Oh my goodness. And I think, again, I can't tell where the actual waterfall is on the camera, but I think you can hike to that waterfall. I like that waterfall. Yeah. And there's literally, there's a road right along over here. Yeah. Which I, that maybe is where this goes. I'm not sure, but. All right, so we see a sign that says Nash, National Forest, you said? Uh, yeah, National Forest Access. National Forest Access. We got the T-tops off. So we are now in a convertible Jeep, ladies and gentlemen. How sexy is that? We're getting all sunscreened up because we it's hot because of that giant star above us. And we're trying to not get sunburned today. So we're heading that way. All right, first stop on this little trail here, Angel Creek Cap Campground. There's our Jeep potentially being named Calvin. <laughs> we'll see. Suggested by Tiny One. Yep. Um, this is the view. It's no wonder they call this the Switzerland of America because it's ridiculous. Our first whitewater experience of the trip. She's going fast too. Wow. Ice, but still it's the snow melt. Yeah. That's what we're getting. Yeah. This was snow. This was snow. You sound so sad. This was snow. By the way, we put the T-tops on, one because we stopped, but two because that sun is so stinking hot. It's like, and we can put sunscreen on, but we could just feel ourselves frying. So it's gonna be a once the sun goes behind the mountains or an evening thing, because for now, we're gonna look like Rudolph the red-nosed body here soon. You can for sure tell the difference between the elevation, because I'm like- You feeling it? Out of breath from that little walk. Yeah, big change between Iowa and here. Tiny just pointed it out, and I'm feeling it too, is it's just your, your oxygen levels are so much lower up here at this high elevation. So you're getting worn out a lot faster. These people over here, they're uh, panning for gold. Wow. Holy moly. Gorgeous. Man, look at this. It's crazy because God created Iowa and God also created this. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I love Iowa. I think Iowa is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll never disagree with that, that idea. But this is, it's just from cornfields and flatlands to this, like. There's really no comparison. Man. They're just so different. But the reason God made these things is so that we have reasons to travel and explore the world he created for us. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, Get out and explore, because you never know what you're gonna find. And look it, we had to drive all the way to Uray, Colorado, but we found heaven on earth, or Switzerland in America. Okay, so this road right in front of us, okay? A little hindsight, or not hindsight, um, a little extra information, a little more detail. 
we were literally just talking about how this mountain trail has been really nice because it's closed in. There's trees on this side, there's mountains and trees on this side. And you all know I'm scared of heights. And you all know that when we were at, on top of the Trail Ridge Pass in uh, the Rocky Mountain National Park that I about passed out at the wheel. Well, at the top of this hill, the road curves and there's literally the road. All this side tree completely stops. It's wide open. Sorry, elevation. I'm, so out I'm very of out of breath. Too. And you're literally driving on a cliff. On a cliff with a jarring cliff up the side and nothing but wide open air on the left side. I might die before we get up there. You're talking uh, too, so that doesn't help. True. And in all transparency, ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely panicked. I said, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I put it in reverse and I started backing up, which scared her, made her kind of feel panicky because she felt like I was gonna back us off a cliff in my state of panic. Yes, full fledged state of panic, without a doubt. I take full responsibility and we backed all the way down this road to this little inlet here and turned around. Holy buckets. That was insane. And there's a bear warning. So we, bear. we saw a bear, yep. Couldn't get it on video though, it was too quick. And yeah, so now we gotta keep an eye out for bears. And this is where I started to panic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. I'm scared just walking on it. And I can literally drop to the ground. Oh my goodness. So. It's amazing. How, you don't have to come over here. Is it steep? It is, but there's brush. It opens up, so that'll freak you out. But if you just come and stand where I'm standing, it's okay. Okay. It's not so bad. You can see we are on the edge. See, Mom? I told you I'd put boundaries in place. <sighs> okay. So, this, we were still climbing. Still climbing. Still driving at this point. And it was right here. We got a little farther. And... Nope. That is the road. See, this is way, I, this, I, I can't go much farther, Tiny. I can't. All right, we back. As you can see, it's a completely different day. Um, last you saw was us up at that edge on that cliff where Tiny was gonna go and scare me half to death. And I walked away. Uh, we've since explored more of Ure, did some shopping and things, but now we're at day two. We are just outside of Telluride, which is another mountain town up here. It's been another adrenaline-filled ride. There was definitely some moments where I had to just watch the yellow line and breathe. But we did it, we made it. It's a little windier up here than it was in Ure yesterday, but it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously beautiful. And there's literally, uh, right along this hill here, is a gondola ride. It's 
literally taking people way up there. And I think that's the free one that I looked into yesterday, Tiny. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, and then up here, you can see there's some waterfalls and snow. And we're not even in the town yet. But it's beautiful here. Lots of peeps. There's Cal. Hi, Cal. And the blinker that I left on, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, there she is. Nice and breezy. Well, let's head that way. Good old Main Street drive in here in Telluride. You can see these a lot of these mountain towns were designed very similarly because it has Ure vibes, but the mountains look very different here than in Ure. Ure, Ure, you're gonna hear both frequently because I can't get it right. <laughs> Of course, I turn the camera on, then we come to a screeching halt. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Kids, look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Tiny, that house up there, that's that one I yeah. pointed out to you in the book yesterday. Oh my gosh. That's just been sitting there. I'm pretty sure, wow. okay, there's this waterfall here and there's a house right there. I believe, now there might be something up in there now for people to go visit, but I believe that is an old mining house, community, something. I was watching or looking at a uh, old mining book yesterday and it was showcasing all sorts of different abandoned mine places and that was one of them. And it's still just sitting there, it's so cool. I feel like we're in the Lord of the Rings right now. <laughs> And it does look like that's a winding road. It does. That is so high. I just can't. So high. Oh like, try to lighten that up for you kids, because that's it's dark because of the overcast right now, but it's starting to brighten up a little bit. I have a feeling that this road that we're on literally turns into that winding zigzag road. You ready for that? No, I'm not. <laughs> no. They have some good turnaround points. Yeah, I mean, there's one right there if we needed it. But wow. And then there's this trail here. Just keeps going down. We're hoping to find some hiking up in this area. It's just the weather is beautiful up here. A little windy at times, but the temperature is like with a tank top on, I'm just a little, little chilled. So once you get walking, it'd be pretty much perfect. But yeah, those waterfalls. There's, oh yeah, there's one up there too. So let's continue on down the road, see what else we can find. All right, so we did discover that you can literally drive up this hill. I mean, there's a truck right up there. And you can literally drive to the falls. You can't drive beyond the falls. There's a sign that says that, but you can literally drive all the way up there, which is just insane wow. to me. I literally couldn't. I would literally die beyond, behind the wheel of the vehicle. But I believe you can actually hike or at least drive up to that area where the house is. But yeah, it's insane. We're confused by the color of the water here too. I don't know why it's, it's so green. It's like a treatment facility or what, but this is the Iterado Mining Company. So this could be some sort of something with the mining something, which I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> Very descriptive. Yeah, it's about the best I can give you right now. It's just crazy. I need answers about this water though. I know, right? Why is it this color? Oh, yeah, it's so weird. Okay, so this is a diagram of the trails. We're, this is where we're at here. And then the trail or the falls in that house is right up there. You can literally drive up that. So that zigzag area is literally a driving road. And then there's Black Bear Road. It starts up here and it comes down. I'm guessing it must be a one way. And I don't know what this means. If that means that it is literally where you can drive, but this is insane. But we're considering the walking from here to the base of the falls. It's a 1.2 mile tra trek and there's a hazardous stream crossing. So that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah. 
interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> the graphic they use on it. Right, is I know. Terrifying. Seriously. <laughs> one point one miles to the bottom of Bridalville Falls, one and a half to the bottom of the road. Pass through rugged terrain with a stream crossing maybe hazardous at high water. So we're not really quite sure because there's a lot of snow melt happening right now. So we're gonna get our bearings and try to figure out what we're gonna do and then we'll go from there. All right, so we're in this. We are headed up the Bridal Vale Falls Trail, 1.2 miles. We're both already out of breath. And we've been going for about 45 seconds. Lots of huffing and puffing to come. Video's not done yet, kids. Video's not done yet. Listen, listen. I just dropped a brand new It's All Knee merch. And I need to make sure you guys check out the description below for all the details. There's a link. Grab your merch. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got tank tops. We got stickers. There's hats. All sorts of stuff. New designs are going to be coming throughout the upcoming months. So I want to make sure you guys check that out. It's All Knee merch. Available now. Don't miss it, kids. It's a great way to support me and my channel and upcoming content. So make sure you hit that description down below. Check out that comment section. Let me know what you'd like to see for future merch. Grab you some and let me know what you ordered. Okay, video's done. You can, you can move on. I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs>